Hello guys, this is Salvador Mendoza and I want to talk about Sami Cam Pro, this new device for pen testing Max Try information. This is the new version of the Max Proof Pi, but with some different characteristics. It has a rotating color on it, but also a small display, so you can select things inside of this small device. The idea of this device is to have a prepare attacks for max try information, but also it has some services that I'm going to introduce to it. Some of them are a web server, but also a Bluetooth connection. So you can use your cell phone, for example, to change the tracks and to compile and after that run it. The main idea is to have a portable device and to use it in all the version of the raspberries. This one is running on the Raspberry Pi Zero. And I'm going to talk a little bit also about another services. So let's start with this video and hope you enjoy it. After you run the SemiCam Python script, you're going to have a menu on the OLED SemiCam project. In this menu, you're going to have an option, which is compile it. This option is going to compile all the code of the MaxPoofPy library. After you select Make MaxPoof, the SemiCam device is going to communicate with the Raspberry to compile the MaxPoofPy library. The code is a little bit different from the SemiCam core uh, code. I have to make some changes on it so it can work with the Raspberry Pis. The next option is the Bluetooth connection. After you select, it's going to run the service which we're going to be able to connect using another cell phone device and to interact with the SAMI CAM device. With the Bluetooth connection, you can send comments to the SAMI CAM device. You can run the MaxPoof service, but also you can change tracks, compile, and all the kind of services that Sami Cam implements. The last choice in the menu is a web server. This web server is running a Python web server. Basically, it's a server that implements all the options in the Bluetooth connection too. The idea of this service is like any user can use a browser to change tracks to compile, running, or to change settings in the Bluetooth connection. In this example, I use a browser to change the tracks using the web server service. So I can change a credit card number to a different so I can test it after I compile it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And thank you to Electronic Cats for the design of the PCB but also to Sami Kankar and his work to the community. Hope to see you soon.